A lot of people wonder why I'm living here. Because I could live in LA or New York and be building sculptures there, but the minute I drive up to my little ranch here, I feel like I'm onto something that's never been done before. My name is John Lopez and I'm a scrap metal sculptor. I use a scoop shovel, I use snow chains, I use wrenches, scissors, gosh, I use tractor seats. Basically anything that is mild steel. It just so happens that I live in a scrap metal paradise because every farmer and rancher in the area has a scrap metal pile of some kind. People are very generous around here to invite me over and say, you can look through our scrap pile. And so that's where I gather my materials for my sculptures. So then I bring all this found objects home that I've handpicked and I start grabbing things and fitting them up there. It's a textural experience. It's almost like a patchwork quilt, if you will. It's got a little bit of everything in it. And within all that chaos, when you step back, the animal comes to life. And scrap metal shouldn't do that. One of the most important things for me is to be connected to the land. South Dakota inspires me. I bought an empty lot on Main Street in Lemon, and right next to the park that I put it in was an old bar called the Kokomo. I cleaned the Kokomo out, renovated it, and turned it into a really nice art gallery where I can feature and show my finished sculptures. I've had people come up to me and express in emotion what it means to them, or I've had letters. I've seen a lot of scrap metal sculptures around, but I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody capture the life that my sculptures capture. And maybe it will affect some of the kids that live here in their life and send them off in a direction that it wouldn't if I wasn't living here. <laughs>